And now we come to the last set, which will then complete our discussion of the class. So having done cloud computing, we come to the next major, and the only, the only other major use case, which is web search and text mining. And that has uh, two, uh, two units in this section. We will do a little survey of data mining. We state the problem for document and web search. And we discuss it in general with a his from a historical point of view. We uh, discuss information retrieval and various important concepts such as Boolean query, fuzzy indices, vector space models, probabilistic models. I remember when I was a child being taught about the difference between the Bayesian point of view and the frequency point of view. It's pretty important to understand that, that difference. And then we look at data analytics for web search. And um, I should say I didn't find that discussion very satisfactory when I was a child. I remember reading a giant book about this and not believing a word it said. I read shorter books and believed them, because they actually did something. But the giant book was all philosophy. Anyway, now we come on to data analytics for web search as the next uh, lesson. Document preparation, inverted indices, index construction. Uh, query structure and processing. We discuss page rank as a way of analyzing in detail uh, the structure of, the, of the, what you find to be able to rank it. And then we discuss uh, crawling the web. Um, today, if you want to be successful in the web, you need to do more than um, just a search. You need to have advertise, advertisements placed in the right place in response to the right search terms. And there's a lot of sophisticated discussion of the relation of search and advertising. And then we discuss at the end uh, a detailed issue for, for web search, namely simple topic models, uh, uncivil rights, dividing of, the, um, of uh, the set of documents into topics, which is a very interesting area. Then we have a technology section. Uh, we start off with uh, PageRank, with both Java and Python. And um, then we have uh, K-means in Java and Python, an analysis of four artificial cl cl clusters in great detail. We do MapReduce in, uh, in detail. Well, not in much detail, actually, just overview. And then we do um, um, MapReduce applied to k-means and illustrate the basic concepts of MapReduce with the parallel k-means application. The last three um, units are particular use cases. They're not covered in the same depth as uh, the other use cases. We have health informatics, where we have a discuss general discussion of the relationship between big data and health. We go through a McKinsey report on the big data revolution in the US healthcare arena. A Microsoft report on big data and health, and why be, and it has a slight, obviously, bias to Microsoft's products. We have a European Union report on redesigning health in Europe for 2020, which is all built around the, the big data assumptions. We look at clouds and health, and possibly concerns with security. And then we have a discussion of more fundamental things in this area, genomics, proteomics, and how you visualize uh, these uh, fundamental building blocks of life. Then we have a little section on census, which we've already told you why Internet of Things is so important, 75 billion of them by 2020. You should get to know them and be happy with them, else they might, uh, they might not treat you right. Uh, then we do sensor clouds and how we use clouds to control the Internet of Things. Uh, we actually have our, our foretaste of the final unit with uh, discussing how Earth environmental and polar science data is gathered by sensor. Now, if we look at sensors, we have all these concepts like smart homes, etc. And we do a couple of examples here. You have smart cities, or sometimes called ubiquitous cities. Uh, we have ubiquitous Korea as one example. And the important example of the power grid, the so-called smart grid. And then the final unit, and actually the final slide of this um, introduction, 
covers radar informatics and we, its application of glaciology. This is what we do with Kansas University, who are the lead of this effort. Um, so uh, we have a motivations to why it's important. Climate change and is one of those, of course. But basically, it's science. Glaciers is actually suddenly very exciting because glaciers didn't do much for tens of thousands of years, and now they're doing lots of dramatic things, like melting. And so the study of glaciers has turned from a sleepy field into a forefront scientific research area. So we discussed the concept of remote sensing as background and the cli global climate change uh, motivation for it. We give a little discussion of the underlying science of ice sheets, an overview of radar and its basic uh, technologies, what we are doing with it to study. Uh, to get data, then to, to do to, to gather data for radar informatics, and how we are doing it. So that's the last use case. It describes work headed up by Kansas University, but it also has relevance to other apps. Radar is a very important big data source. So enjoy this class, of course. And the next thing for you to look at is the uh, motivation and. Um, then the introduction. But you could skip the motivation unless you do. But although I, 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 it is also possible, maybe best to read it, because then we all get a really good idea as to why you're doing what you're doing. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time.